When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Yeah? Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. The last time I saw my crew, their escape shuttle was headed for the planet's surface. I need to find the wreckage to ensure their memories are honored. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Shortly after I evacuated, I saw the ship come apart. The UC listed it as lost, so I assume the Dauntless was completely destroyed. The Dauntless took heavy fire to the docking section during the battle. We had three shuttles. One was destroyed, and the other two were damaged. There was no other way off the ship. was there to tell. I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where... it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. It has a breathable atmosphere, indigenous fauna, and maybe a few abandoned mining outposts. Otherwise, it's not populated. Don't worry, it's not as though I'm coming apart at the seams. It's the conversations we've been having. They dredged up these old memories, and they're... a burden. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. That's why I'm desperate for your help. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to hold me together.
besides bad memories? I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. Not yet. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, uh, I'll never understand. I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just not ready. Not yet. Traveling out here with you, I've discovered that friendships change by circumstance. I worked closely with Aja on long space voyages, so we became friendly. When she quit Constellation, the friendship ended. But I'm certain at this point, even if you and I were separated by a great distance, we'd never lose touch. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Outland while we're here, and see if Joe has anything useful to add to our arsenal. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Almost ten years. Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? I haven't spoken to Sarah Morgan for almost ten years, and out of the blue, both of you barge into my office. I want answers. You can start with telling me who the hell you are. Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. 
I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares waking up in cold sweat. It's been difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Feels like walking into a dream. Oh, it's been nearly 20 years, but it feels like a lifetime. Strangely, this place looks exactly the same as I remember it. But that isn't possible, right? Just like a dream. Thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew, 
Okay, so, let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. You mean, besides the dangerous terrain, vicious fauna, and the chance of getting lost? Nah, we've got nothing to worry about. Knowing that is the only reason that I'm here. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. Let's go. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? I'm surprised you've never heard of the place. It's a resort colony in the Parima system. You know, a place to get away and unwind? Maybe we should head out there after we're done. Goodness knows we'll both need a vacation. Oh, I never said I walked away. When my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... Well, I was pretty badly injured. Had to crawl from the wreckage. When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward, recovering for almost six weeks. It was... difficult and painful. But... It kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. No, I'm afraid that it can't. It's only designed to power individual systems. Even if it could, my old shuttle is far too damaged to be fully restored. Sure, we have plenty of power cells on the ship, but they're not UC military grade. They won't work. I'm afraid we'll have to do some scrounging. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing.
Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Haha. <laughs> Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. That's what those look like on the inside.
We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Don't even joke. If this data is faulty and we end up being pointed to a pile of rocks, oh, I don't even know what we'd do next. I'm fairly certain I was able to capture all the data before I hit the ground. I'll try not to worry about it if you won't. Well, we're not there yet, but damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. been on this planet under more pleasant circumstances, I might have had more time to appreciate the beauty it has to offer. Something's out there. Part of the life form should prove useful. Judging from this debris, the crew's shuttle sustained far more damage than my own. Oh, those poor souls. This is what's left of the crew's shuttle. 
But it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? still fresh. Is there someone here? It's still alive. Stop! I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go. Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. Answers? About what? How do I know you're telling the truth? Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you. And we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? That's because no one is fooling me ever again. The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents. Your mum and your dad. What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberist. You're the head. Daughter, listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. I know this is Cass... Cassiopeia. I've been here since I was born. I know my mother and father were from Gemson or something like that. I bet it's like a thousand miles away. My parents told me she was in command of their ship in a huge battle. They said she was a hero and the bravest person they ever knew. Yeah, 
Well, you're too late. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona. <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. I'm trying to hold it together. There's just too much coming at me all at once, you know? I'm just so relieved that you're here. There's absolutely no way I could have handled this alone. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. It's an identification tag worn by UC military personnel. It's encoded with the soldiers' medical information and a sample of their DNA. If we can bring them back to Jemison, it would be like bringing home the crew's bodies for a proper burial. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile lifeforms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory.
many times do I have to say it? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. Sona, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? I know, I know. I'm not proposing we knock her out for God's sake. <sighs> Look, maybe you can talk some sense into her. Help her make a decision. I just... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look... I'm clearly out of my element here, and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Why won't Sarah listen to me? I mean... I mean, kinda. I just met her. The only reason I'm trusting you at all is because my mom and dad said Sarah was a good person. I know she probably wants to help me out, but I really wish she'd listen to my part of the story. I've been alone for a long time, and even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mom and Dad told me there was a whole universe out there, with thousands of planets. They showed me the maps and the star charts. That does sound pretty cool, but well, it's also kind of scary. It would be hard to leave the only home I've ever known. I... I, I never thought of it that way. But... Uh, leaving mom and dad behind... It's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. I am safe. Those monsters can't catch me. They've tried, but I learned how to trick them. They're pretty dumb. And if bad people visit here, I know how to hide. I was even watching you when you landed. I bet you didn't even see me. This planet doesn't bother me. That's why I'm not sure I need to abandon my mom and dad. Yeah. You're right. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. I do hope that's true. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known, and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please.
Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the Overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. And I intend to repay you for that, even if it takes the rest of my life. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world, and until this very moment I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes, wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Perhaps? I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. Yes, you needed something. But don't worry. Try and keep my complaints to a minimum. Excuse me. It's never easy, you know. Making decisions that could end the lives of soldiers pledged to your cause. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? Not only that, but we found someone there, alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known?
How dare you say that to me? Thousands died because they believed in the ideal set forth by the United Colonies. I know because I've signed each and every one of their death notices. So don't tell me I've dishonored anyone's memory. Because I mourn those thousands every day of my life. We aren't doubting your integrity, Admiral. We are simply expressing our regrets at how this situation was resolved. You're absolutely right, Sarah. This situation was handled poorly. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. At this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. We should probably talk. There you are. I was wondering when he'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. On the reminder list, starting from the Sarah gave me directions. She's really good at that. Writing that gnat thing was super cool. It was like magic or something. Like something from the stories mom used to read. But the hardest part was having everyone staring at me. All these people in one place. It's kind of scaring me. I don't know why. I mean, no, not that one. What did I say before that one? You said, remember to check on the experiment, the one that might explode. Oh, yeah. I think I like it. I don't know yet, but it's all really new to me. You'll fit in just fine. You're one of the smartest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah! <laughs> oh, don't I wish? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa! Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? I mean, this place is great and all, but ever since my mom taught me that there are hundreds of planets out there, I'm itching to go see all of them. And if it means I'd get my own ship, that'd be amazing. Well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well... I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. The Colony War Memorial is actually quite lovely in a solemn sort of way. If you think it will help, then feel free. It had to be blind luck. The shuttle had almost zero propulsion and no defensive shielding. 
It would have taken a hell of a pilot to land the ship without it breaking into a million pieces. I've been giving that a lot of thought. I'm going to suggest she stay at the launch, but I don't want her to think that I'm forcing her to follow in my footsteps. At the very least, it should give her a safe place from which she can adjust to her new way of life. Let me know if you need anything else. If you'll just bear with me, I promise I'll explain everything. These people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. And I care about you, too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall, so we can talk in private. Let's go. across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nerd. If my ship goes long again... I think I could live on coffee. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other, but this place... This exact spot. There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I, I don't know. I'm not sure I can explain it. 
Maybe it's the strange way that the art, technology, and nature fuse together, or maybe it's because it feels like home. Whatever it is, I definitely feel more comfortable here than anywhere else I've ever been. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. <laughs> no, nothing like that at all. I just have a lot on my mind, and I am terrible at getting right to the point. I know you are. Just give me a moment. I have a lot I need to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. In all honesty, I don't. She simply reminds me of my own isolation. Maybe not in the literal sense of the word, but I certainly relate to some of her loneliness. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? Sorry, I, um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. From things you've said in the past, it's obvious you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. I can't imagine being in love with anyone else. So, if you're willing to make the leap, I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. There's something I need to talk to you about. about seeing stars. Phew. <laughs> the 
That was amazing. 